This starting with our journaling series, I'm using nothing but 28 euro worth of craft supplies from the Dutch chain store Hema. Similar supplies like these can be found in many other chain stores. You do not need the exact same supplies. I just want to prove to you that you can start being creative with any type of creative material in any type of notebook. Play along with me and start your own journal today. going to first test some of the paint because um, I really don't know how opaque it will be. We saw that the white was pretty opaque but I really don't know how it will hold on this paper so I'm just going to try it a bit here. I do regret a bit that they added red gouache because um, now we don't have any pink and you might think if you mix white and red you will get pink. Well that's what we learn but it's actually not really pink. It is more like um, salmon. Yeah. This is not really pink the way I want it, but I'm going to paint some blotches here with this salmon pink. And this is just regular gouache that I put at uh, cheap uh, store so it's also the reason why I wanted a small journal because this size is just really less overwhelming and what I love about mixing red with white is that you can make some painterly effects already People often tend, especially when they are beginning, to tend more pure colors. But I advise you to start mixing it straight away. And then especially mixing it with white and black. I really love that. I often teach that in all my lessons. <laughs> so that's something that you will hear me tell it like a broken record. To mix colors with white or black. That's just always fun. Just some painterly blotches here. Make that into flowers. I think that you just... Um, the trick is that you um, don't have to make it too neat. Just don't try to make it look really like perfect flowers. Just make little fun blotches. And the calendar is coming through of course, but that's actually just really a nice effect. Now I'm going to paint around it with a bit of blue and white, but I don't want it to be really dark blue. What you often see beginners do is that they take this blue from the bottle and then use that straight away. Um, and this is actually pretty dark blue, but I want to keep it a bit light. So um, I'm going to add a little bit more white to this and do the same with the background. You here you see that I make a bit of a blotch here on the cover page. Oh, but I really don't mind that. What I often do is use a regular hair dryer to dry paint. I'm taking the thick pencils and then I'm going to scribble some detail on the flowers. I'm 
I'm using the mechanical pencil to make some scratches here and there. That makes it a tiny bit more playful. I think I'm going to make a few splatters here and there. Taking a bit of the paint on my brush and tap the brush. If you want you can do the same with white. And make this dry again. I love to make these roses, blotches, blotch roses. <laughs> Let me see about these permanent markers. I believe there are more sizes. Two millimeters one. 0 0.5 and also 1. So I think I'm going to use the 0 0.5 to make to draw little flower stems. don't have to add a title to all of your pages. I think that many beginners think that every page needs text, text but it's not true. But I really love to add a little text here. That's it, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you're new to art journaling, go to artjournalschool.com where I have a free online art journal workshop for you in which I share with you my ideas about art journaling and also some fun basic art journal techniques. See you, bye.